Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving scale problems. This is standard 7.5c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got two triangles that are similar. So that's going to be our key word right there. Very important. Similar means we have the same shape. So they're both triangles and they're the both the same type of triangle. They're just different sizes. You can't have a square be similar with a triangle. So you need to have the same shape and you also have the same angles. So you can't have an equilateral triangle be similar with a right triangle. You need the angles to be the same. The difference between similarity is that their side lengths are different. They're proportional, they're scaled out, but they're different. You notice our two triangles, I'm going to call this my small triangle right here. This is facing, pointing it to the left, and the big triangle here is pointing to the right. So I want to flip this. I'm going to use this, this line right here, this GH line. I'm going to use that as a line of reflection. And I'm just going to kind of, well, it doesn't quite work, but you get what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make that look like it, like it's kind of coming out there. And so I just want to do this because I want to be able to line up the sides that are pointing in the same direction. So that's 18 cm. I'm going to call this my big triangle. So I need to find the value of x. So x is this big line right here. And so I've got two different options that I can choose. So I can have a proportion where I'm matching up small to small and then big to big. So that's one option. So I'm wanting to, let's try small to small and let's do this a, b right here over BC. So that's going to be helpful because that BC is going to line up. So I need to match up the AB to BC on the big sides. So that's FG over GH. So that's one way I could do it. I could also match up like the sides that I'm looking for. So I could do small to big over small to big. So let's say I did uh, this BC, because this that's, the, that's the, the line I'm wanting here to go with my GH. Either way, I'm looking for GH. That's where the X is sitting. Then I just need to match up two other sides. So like I could do one I haven't used yet. I could do AC over FH. Either way, you're going to get the same answer. Let's plug some numbers in and see what we're going to do. This first one. S is AB, so that's going to be 9 over BC 15 equals FG is 13.5 over my X. All right, so a little cross multiplication. All right, so I need 13.5 times 15. It's 25, 15, 17. That's 675, 135. That's 5, 12, 10, 202.5, remember we got one digit right there. So 9x equals 202.5. So let's divide both sides by 9, and we'll see what we can get. So 9 goes into 202.5. That's kind of a random number. Uh, 9 goes into 20 twice, 18. It's going to be 22. Still goes in there twice, 18. Ah, but look what we've got now, 45. So there we go, 22.5. So that's going to get me F, 22.5. Now I said we could do it the other way, and let's see what that looks like. If we set this other one up, it's 15 over X equals 12 over 18. So we need to multiply those together. We end up getting 270 equals 12X. We divide both sides by 12. And we get 22.5, same answer of F.